And yeah. a big, big, big congrats on The Crown, season five. I mean, pretty much the whole series. But I'm loving this, this season. And true to what show creator Peter Morgan said, this one is a love letter to the Queen, I think. Yes, definitely. Couldn't agree with you more. Oh, and I adore you as Princess Margaret. But first things first, though, what got you interested in stepping into the royal shoes of Princess Margaret, the Countess of Snowdon? Well, I mean, why wouldn't you? I think only a foolish actor would say no to a role like this. It's, I mean, she's a fantastic character. Uh, we know that. Um, and I get to play her at a, you know, difficult, sensitive, slightly troubled time of her life. Um, the scripts are just glorious. Um, uh, Peter Morgan r writes it all really well, but I think he writes Margaret extremely well. He seems to really understand what she might have been going through. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was an absolute no brainer to say yes to it. And I've 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 really, really, truly loved doing season five. We're now shooting season six. So she's going to be with me for a little bit longer, which is nothing but good news. Oh, I absolutely agree with you. You know what, though? Uh, there's there's an air of levity every time Princess Margaret kind of shows up. I mean, she adds some sort of levity, I think. But uh -huh. how did you channel Princess Margaret? I mean, what what? how did you embody it's quite it? Hard to, it's quite hard to answer that, really, because certain stuff happens kind of without you knowing it you know I mean I did all the research I read all the books I took all the information in and I did that over a, a good good long period of time um, and you sort of then have to trust that somehow that's gone in and that you've absorbed it and you have to sort of try and understand what this woman's life was like but then and speculate on what she might have been feeling throughout that life um, but then, you know, you've got Peter Morgan's script to deal with and he's giving it to you on a page and you have to make that page come to life and infuse, infuse it with what you think she might have felt at any given moment. Um, but a lot of it is, you know, personal judgment, instinct, experience. Um, but, you know, I, I put in the work, so hopefully, you know, my my version of her, and that's all it can ever be, my version of her, um, it will be something that people will uh, like. You know what, Miss Leslie, in your research, what's the most interesting discovery that you made of her? No one thing, really. I mean, she had a very, very varied life. She was interested in all sorts of subjects she was very philanthropic she was very um uh interested in helping children but she was also very interested in the arts and although i didn't know her i have friends who did know her or crossed over with her in their in the line of their work be it theater directors or writers and you know they said she was as fabulous to be with as you can imagine you know she was she was a party girl. She liked to stay up late and uh, uh, she was very plain speaking and straightforward. So sometimes she might say something that people were a bit kind of offended by or shocked by. But, you know, she was um, she was who she was and she didn't kind of try to shield anybody from the true her. So hats off to her for that. And apparently she play and um, played the mean drums too. <laughs> apparently she did, although sadly I missed that. <laughs> no, you know what? The Crown season five streams on Netflix on November 9th. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the series? Well, an understanding really of a very difficult time in the monarchy that they will have only read about in the media. So we take the audience through Peter Morgan's drama into a kind of uh, speculation of how that difficult period made them all feel and how it affected them and what it did to them as a family, you know, because they're people at the end of the day um, and they feel and think say in the same way and have emotions in the same way that we all do. So I, I hope and I think the series will achieve that. 
Correct. Exactly. I totally agree. A big congrats on The Crown again, season five. I cried a bit, but I cannot wait to see season six because I know I'll cry harder. <laughs> so long live The Crown, Miss Leslie. Thank you very much. Thank you. 